A Trump supporter was assaulted in Seattle. People spitted him on his MAGA baseball hat, but he proudly fought back without taking back his support to the president. He should definitely check out the label on his hat because it is highly possible made in China. Now made in China isn't made in anywhere but here's our everywhere. Labeling, make America great again, and crying, hire Americans and buy American. Trump waged war on trade deficits but he's among the greatest contributors of America's trade deficits. During the inauguration, the reporters in Washington found that the MAGA hats worn by his fans were made in China, Vietnam and Bangladesh. The China-based manufacturer Qingdao Jeff Help You Industry and Trade Company was one of them and made a fortune in 2016. Trump's supporters claimed that real MAGA caps were proudly made in USA and fake ones were made by foreigners. The real MAGA hats can be found in shop.donaldjtrump.com. But people found that the website was actually run by Canada-based company Shopify. Canada is the country accused by Trump of causing national security issues by selling its steel and aluminum to America. Now MAGA hats are involved in Trump's trade war. California-based seller Incredibly Gifts said they would have to raise the retail price of the caps to at least $20, up from the current price of $9 to $12. Trump's supporters will be more than happy to clear their purse. This is Trump tax or patriotic tax. This is only one of the areas which need a damage control. The America largest nail maker Mid-Continent Nail Corporation has laid off 100 workers because of the difficulty caused by Trump's 25% tariff on steel imports. If the situation goes on, the company could fold by Labor's Day. Michael Peatfish is a soybean farmer in Minnesota. He said what farmers can do was wait and hope. The soybean price was driven up by the tariffs. He is storing his beans and waiting for a better market. Farmers are suffering from a double blow because of the price plummeting in domestic market. Soybeans have dropped more than $2 a bushel on the Chicago Board of Trade in the last few weeks. Indiana soybean farmer Dave Kesta's farm would lost tens of thousands of dollars. Let alone Harley Davidson is moving to Europe. General Motor claims it will cut wages and jobs. Tesla announced that a new gigafactory in Shanghai. The economists have been warning that protectionism will cost Americans jobs and it is costing Americans jobs. But Trump just does whatever he wants. It seems that GOP and the Democrats are criticizing but the Congress is not moving. They could have stopped Trump by a bill. The reason is that two parties are preparing for the midterm election in November so they have no intention to stop Trump. The Democrats want to watch Trump's falling in a recession just serves them because they can prove that Trump is an idiot. GOP wants the same too because the establishment can take care of what Trump has messed up. As for how many companies would close, how many Americans would lose their jobs and how many farmers would loss, they don't even give a shit.